Hey guys, it's a Sunday. I just dropped by the studio for a meeting, a very important meeting regarding something that you're going to learn about soon, but it's related to the Blender game engine real time mode. So stay tuned for that. But I just came to my desk. I was reading the commit logs and then I saw that Lucas Stockner committed a patch. You know, Lucas Stockner, this developer, this German developer that has a patch for everything in Blender and especially related to cycles mainly. And this change is also related to cycles, is support for IES lamps. It's a IES, if you Google IES, it's a text file. This very helpful website tells you that it's a text file that describes the intensity of a light source and at points of an, uh, on a spherical grid. So yeah, that's it basically. It's a, it's a text file, something very simple that just tells the lamp, which direction, which in, how intensity, in, how much intensity is going to have in a spherical grid. So it works very well with uh, with any lamp, but mainly with point lamps because it, you don't have to do anything. Like it, it's not like a spot. Um, the point lamp will light whatever this file t tells it to. So um, this it's very simple. It's just a text file, basically, but allows you to have very interesting lighting, uh, especially more realistic lighting, because uh, some of IES files, you can find them online. And some companies even that create lamps, they contribute and they um, release their IES files for like architecture or just having the exact way a lamp shines. So that is now possible in cycles and if you comp if you get blender from the billboard it should be already there otherwise wait uh, uh, another day but basically let's see how it works so here i am i'm gonna make a little wall and that's it this uh, is support is a texture that it's a, uh, a texture it's a node basically the type of, of type texture so in your lamp, you just go to the node editor in cycles, remember? So if you're in cycles and you use the nodes, here you'll see uh, regular strength. And if I add a new node, type IES texture, I can pick uh, either internal if I have it in, in inside of Blender, which is faster if you're just playing with it, or you can just also um, load an uh, IES file. And these files, you can get them online. Uh, eventually, Blender will ship with presets, so that will solve the issue. But this is basically what you get. You load a file, it's like a script node. And you can set the, the strength, and the output is connected to the strength of your lamp, and voila, that's it. The um, In this case, the best way to see it is with a point lamp. But the issue with that is that the point lamp by, by default in Blender doesn't show direction unless you have a, like a manipulator. Um, so you can't really see the um, direction, but you can also use spot lamps, for example, uh, or change it to an area position where you want it to be pointing and then go back, going back to uh, a point lamp. So that's basically it, actually. You can just load those files and play with them just just change the types and you can even go crazy and start mixing them up of course this will break it's not going to be super <laughs> realistic i guess because it's going to be not one type of lamp but uh, multiple so if you mix those you can do crazy stuff you can let's use something like that and so you're mixing one kind of lamp with another kind of lamp and you're getting uh, even more. Okay, I should put it here. And you can just break all kinds of physics, make a black hole. <laughs> anyway, it's super fun to play with and it's for architecture especially, it's very, very nice. These files, you can get them anywhere. If you do a quick uh, Google, you will find where to get them. Um, they are mainly free. Like, for example, this guy in uh, Gumroad is for free. He's releasing a <laughs> zip file with 
how many over 82,000 kinds of lamps. Maybe that's a bit too much, but um, there are all kinds of websites. You just click around and you will find them. I found this one, for example, that you just click and it gives you a, a zip file that you can uh, download and just use it. It's a text file, so it should be fairly um, easy to find and not, not, uh, not too complicated. So. I hope you like this. This is not part of the cold quest itself. It's just one of those patches that uh, Lucas has made and contributed to Blender and now is part of Blender Cycles and possibly Eevee in the future. But first, the idea is to have it on on uh, Cycles. And then I, I read uh, somewhere there that might be possible on Eevee. So that's, that's it. It's a, it's a short update. I hope you're having a good time, good weekend. And I will see you again in the next episode of whatever, Blender Development. <laughs>